Hey guys, today I got a pretty unique knife to show you. It is unlike any other that I currently own. This is the thumbhole version of the Vosteed Nightshade. Now up on the screen are going to be some specs and they're all measurements I went ahead and just took myself, but don't worry, I'll also have them listed for you down in that description, you know, along with like the links to buy, the prices, oh yeah, and those coupon codes. Now here's a few quick uh, size comparisons just so you can get a better idea of the true size of knife we're working with today. So we'll start with it next to the uh, Rat 2 and then we've got also the uh, Elementum and then of course Delica 4. So the Nightshade is a, it's a medium sized knife that's going to be available you got a few different versions. You can either get, well, like the thumb hole, like you see here, or there's even one with a flipper tab. You know what, though? I sure wouldn't mind seeing one with, you know, with both opening options on the same knife, but uh, that's just a personal preference thing. I know that this often gets compared to like an old Spyderco knife, the uh, Lil Lum, but there's actually, there's there's another one that uh, that comes to mind. Do you remember that? It's from CRKT. Do you remember the, the Buku? Well, for those of you that don't, it was uh, it was actually a monster of a knife with a stainless steel frame lock. And I'm telling you, that thing, it weighed over seven ounces. Yeah, it was a hog. The Nightshade, of course, is going to be way smaller with a, uh, it's got a 3.26 inch Kukri blade shape. And that's going to be in 154 cm steel. And look at the width of that thing. I went ahead and measured it with my calipers and it is almost... A, an inch and a quarter at uh, 1.21. Vasti did a great job on this uh, factory edge because it is, it's nice and even on both sides. And if you look close, you can see it, it ends perfectly, you know, as it should right at the uh, sharpening choil. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but check out that blade spine. Yeah, it's actually crowned, which I think is a really nice touch. I mean, that's that's a feature you usually see on more expensive knives. If you couldn't already tell, this is a uh, it's a liner lock with some some decent thickness on the lock bar, and they even went ahead and like kind of added some jimping along with. Look at all of that open access to get at it. So yeah, this blade is so easy. Look at that to unlock. And as usual with every single Vosti knife I've ever handled. Centering, dead on. Now, opening the knife is going to be done with the thumb hole here, which I just usually use, you know, to go ahead and like middle finger flick it open because if you look at the at the back side of the knife, yeah, you can see that thumb hole is, it's partially obstructed. And, you know, as a lefty, it's the side that I would normally use, you know, to go ahead and thumb flick it. So, unfortunately... I can only like slow roll it from that side. Not a huge deal, you know, for most people, but for us, like small percentage of lefties out there, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Since there's going to be plenty of exposed blade, you know, while the knife is closed, it's also like super easy to just go ahead, just go ahead and grab, grab the blade and, you know, kind of give it a quick shake and boom, you got another opening option. And the closing action is is fantastic. I mean, this blade is riding on a ceramic ball bearing pivot. So, you know, it, it barely takes a shake to like get it started. And then, oh yeah, it just drops right shut. Mine has like contoured G10 scales, but it is, it's also available in either a, like a black or even a green micarta. And I've got no complaints with the, uh, with the handle. It's, it's curved which I really like because it, it angles the blade. You can see it angles the blade downwards, you know, without really having to, uh, you know, tilt my wrist at all when cutting on a flat surface. So when I go ahead and like grip the knife, it feels very comfortable. And it, you can see it's got plenty of room for like my medium sized hand. And since there's no, since there's no flipper tab, you know, I can just go ahead and, and choke all the way up on that blade. It has some nice jipping, you know, like underneath right here where the flipper tab would normally be. So for your index finger, and then of course, up on top of the blade spine for your thumb. Oh, that feels nice. And you know, to be honest at first, I, I wasn't really sure, you know, I wasn't really sure if I would like this knife, but then I actually started cutting some cardboard with it. 
And man, I was seriously, I was blown away. This thing is like so much fun to cut with. I'm telling you, I literally ran out of boxes. Unfortunately, the clip only has, it only has just the, yeah, just the one position. But, you know, it is at least, you know, a true deep carry pocket clip that does actually ride deep in pocket. You know, unlike, unlike, uh, you know, another Vosti knife, the raccoon, which rides a little shallow. I mean, they even went ahead and used flat screws and they even recessed the clip into the scale. So yeah, there's not going to be anything to get hung up on the seam of your pocket. Disassembly is super easy because the, the, the pivot screw on the other side is captured. So no, you don't need like two Torx number eights, you know, to loosen or tighten it. And you know what else? You don't even have to take off the pocket clip and that's always nice. Both liners are, in fact, skeletonized, you know, in an effort to keep that, that weight down. And they did a pretty good job because we're only looking at about uh, 3.4 ounces. Now, you can find these on either Vosti's website or on Amazon for about $72, which, you know what, that, that's right in line with, you know, other knives with similar materials. This might not be the most, like, lefty-friendly knife out there, but, you know what, as a tool... It's a fantastic knife. It just feels like a well-made knife, you know, that really does kind of stand out in a very crowded market. Right now, there's a video up on the screen that I, I personally went ahead and picked out for you to go ahead and, and watch next. And if you haven't already, hey, consider subscribing if you're looking for knife reviews. They get right to the point. All right, that's it. Hey, I got to split. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the next video. See ya.